Hey, it's been a while since I've given anyone an update on my studio. And I know people just love packages. I don't know why there's so many. It's a lot of boxes and bags up top. Pretty big box on the bottom too. But I can't open that until I tell you what's been new. I recently purchased motorized legs through Amazon. So I want to show you. There it is. I bought the 4FAR standing desk dual motor. It was like $180. And I bought this uh, monitor wall mount, a gas spring, so that I can take my monitor off the desk because the legs on my monitor just took up like 30, 40% of the table. So now at least all the table space is clear and the monitor is on the wall. And this amazing motorized legs, I mean, they look at this. It literally goes from 25 inches from the ground to 51 inches off the ground. It's adjustable to go left and right from 41.3 inches all the way up to 63 inches, which means those people out there who have a 70 inch desk, this works, which basically now leads us to my recent purchases and what they are. After I put my table on these motorized legs, I realized how much of a nightmare of cables I have. It's horrible how much is hanging underneath the desk and how much of it is just out here in the open. I've done a little research, seen some YouTube uh, DIY videos on how to mount everything to the bottom of the desk. And that is where we are today because I just made a bunch of purchases for that. I'll show you guys right now. So this is basically everything you're going to see me unbox. Double sided tape. The little kid in me was uh, screaming two nights ago and I thought these two puzzle pieces were really cool. I always seen them on YouTube as a kid growing up and I was like, hey, I didn't even realize they were so available. So I purchased it. It was fairly cheap. I bought a power supply strip so that I can mount it to the bottom of the table. I bought a mouse pad. I also bought these uh, desk cable management trays. Basically, you can put all the power bricks inside of that and then mount that piece, tape it to the bottom of the table and have everything run in a little bit of a track. I decided to buy these two Rubik's bears. I figured they're like collective pieces and limited. And I just thought they'd be really cute for uh, the background of some of my photos, some of my micro world photos. And then just a 50 piece self adhesive cable management clips where you can run all the cables that don't go in the tray when they have to individually slot out to all the designated areas in your table and on the wall. I got that one that can hold thick cables and multiple cables. And then I got the ones that can uh, just be singled out. And that's the dash cam that I per recently purchased. It's been working great so far. Now that you have an idea of what I'm about to unbox, let's just start unboxing it. We're gonna start with the little stuff. Let's get it here. Not strong enough. There we go. Okay, there's only one thing in here and it was the 3M cable clips. That's cool. Now we can throw that out. We have another one. I just smacked myself in the face with this. We have another one. Let's open this up. Only one thing in here and it's the pack of three millimeter. They're like the Velcro piece. They like, you know, I don't know what this is. This is just a really big envelope. One of the Rubik's Bears. See, it's green in the front, blue in the back, orange and yellow on the sides. One of the Bears and just uh, the pack that's going to run all the heavy cables alongside the bottom of the table. Now let's open this first smaller Amazon box. It's like a little thinner, see? I did get... A Rick and Morty mouse pad. Why did I show you with the plastic on? Oh wow, that feels really nice. Sick Rick and Morty mouse pad. Did you see little Morty right there? Look at Morty. Walling out. F you. <laughs> 
Awesome. So glad this came. Now we can get this beautiful Logitech G604 mouse properly being used with all these extra buttons. Basic power strip. I'm gonna tape this, mount this at the bottom of the table. The Joytown dual puzzle kit. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Look at that. So I ordered this one that's called a mirror cube and it has completely different shapes. Well, sorry, like, yeah, like slightly different sizes and shape. It's all gold. And if you can see, if you turn it, it looks like it's misplaced. I'll show you an example. I don't want to mess it up too badly, but if you just do two turns, I mean, look how you can really get this to look. So imagine completely messing it up. And this super freaky one, this Mega Minx. Has 12 faces. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve faces. And as you can see, it rotates very nicely here. And it rotates here. It rotates everywhere, and it rotates on the bottom. I can't wait to totally mess this up and play with it. I'll probably never get to solve it, but it's really smooth. It's really nice, and... Both of these together were only 12 bucks. And then now this much bigger and thicker box, which it looks like I already unboxed everything. What am I missing? Oh, the trays. The trays. Just a lot of this. Box was fairly empty. So this is the cable management system. Can you guys see it clearly? So you can just put everything through there. So the in the in the display here, they have it along the back of the desk, but I'm gonna have all of mine underneath it looking like that. That's nice. And last but definitely not least. The Rubik's White Bear with the yellow back and the blue and green sides. Together, these are my guys. That's pretty much it for the unboxing. Now all I got to do is manage the cables, which is going to be crazy. I'm going to show you guys a time lapse on how everything looks. I'll show you a before and after. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.